Hello YouTube, welcome to another video, the final in the series of two port network parameters. We are discussing A, B, C, D parameters today. We are done with Z parameters, Y parameters, hybrid parameters and in this final episode we are going to discuss A, B, C, D parameters. This again is going to be a set of four parameters that are going to be useful in the analysis of networks. But um, there are few things uh, worth noting about ABCD parameters. Um, ABCD parameters are used in analysis of power transmission engineering. They are also known as circuit parameters. Uh, they are also known as transmission parameters. Now unlike uh, the Z parameters and Y parameters, these parameters are not calculated from a fixed or a well-known um, equation such as Ohm's law. Uh, the ABCD parameter equation is, is a totally different equation. It's a vivid equation that gives us four parameters which, uh, which, which are not related um, in a conventional way with each other. So, if we, if we talk about the circuit diagram of a two-port network, now usually the, the current at the input is represented like this and the current, is, current at the output is represented in the inward direction. But uh, in case of ABCD parameters, the, the output port which is supposed to be the receiving end, the current is taken to be in the opposite direction. And uh, that's what changes the things in the ABCD parameter equation also. So first things first, you need to uh, remember the ABCD parameter equation. which is given by V1 I1 please notice the negative sign here and if you compare this with the equation of H parameters now this is from the previous tutorial uh, H parameter is V1 I1 I1 V2 over here it is V1 I1 V2 minus I2 so the best way of learning these two equations is to learn by comparison so this is something that you need to commit to memory and as I mentioned in the previous tutorial uh, the conditions for finding H parameters is output is short circuited, input is open circuited, zero. So everything is happening at the output. So the conditions are, first condition is output is open circuited and second condition is output is short circuited. When output is open circuited, I2 is zero and when output is short circuited, V2 is zero. So when we put I2 is equivalent to zero, we get the value of A to be equivalent to by the way, you need to open this thing up first. So V1 becomes equivalent to A into V2 plus B to minus I1, I2. I1 becomes C into V2 plus D into minus I2. These are the governing equations. So putting I2 is equivalent to 0 in X and XX, we get A is equal to V1 upon v2 and i2 is 0 and we get c is equal to i1 upon v2 when i2 is 0 similarly b gets the value v1 upon minus i1 i2 sorry when v2 is 0 and d gets the value i1 upon minus i2 when v2 is 0 now we need to see uh, 
The nomenclature associated with these parameters A is the ratio of two voltages and it's known as reverse voltage ratio. And needless to mention here it's going to be a uh, dimensionless quantity. C is the ratio of I upon V so it is going to be admittance and over here it is known as transfer admittance. B is the ratio of voltage to current. So this will be impedance and known as transfer impedance. And the reason why it's known as transfer impedance because we are considering voltage at port 1 and current at port 2. Over here the current is at port 1, voltage is at port 2. So that is why they are known as transfer impedances and admittances respectively. And finally D is the ratio of two currents is known as reverse current ratio. how all, all these parameters A, B, C and D are found and the nomenclature is pretty easy. You can simply find the names from the kind of ratios they are and with this we conclude all the parameters for two port networks. I hope you liked the content of this video. It was a short and a concise lecture on this and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.